Hi friends, it's me again, Daniel. This is like day 372 of having to be indoors. No, I'm just kidding. It's actually, it's still March. What a crazy month this has been. Sometimes it feels like it's been a lot longer than just part of a month right now. Um, I'm going to read another book today. You might remember the last time I read The Way to Start a Day by Bird Baylor. And I got a lot of great feedback from kids of all ages who said they really liked the story. They didn't know about Bird Baylor yet. Um, and uh, so I decided I would read another book by Bird Baylor. You may notice that my anemone flowers are... Uh, getting a little bit older. I still think they're beautiful, you, but you can see some of the petals have been dropping off. I hope I can get some new flowers soon. And then I hung my calendar here. This is a calendar that my friend Day made. He's got a project called Morning Altars. He actually also has a book. Maybe I'll bring it next time. Um, today I'm gonna read a book called Guess Who My Favorite Person Is by Bird Baylor. She wrote this, published 1977, and the um, illustrator's Robert Andrew Parker. He also illustrated some other books. I don't think, I need to look it up, I don't think anymore by Bert Baylor, uh, but he in illustrated a book you may have heard of called... Um, Popcorn and my goodness. Popcorn and my goodness. Look it up. Anyway, here we go. Guess who my favorite person is by Bird Baylor. I happen to be in an alfalfa field, barefoot, sort of lying down, watching ladybugs climb yellow flowers when I saw this little farm kid who was also barefoot, sort of lying down, watching ladybugs climb yellow flowers, helping them up again when they fell off. Want to see my favorite one, she called to me. So I went over to where she was. She pointed to a bug. To tell the truth, I couldn't see much difference between that one and about a million others. I was going back to my own part of the field when she said, Now, choose your favorite one. It wasn't easy because I hadn't ever practiced choosing ladybugs, but finally I did. She looked surprised. I can't believe you like that one. I passed her up about two days ago, but that's your business. I'm still learning how to read the book and hold the page so that you could see all the nice pictures better. For a while, we didn't talk at all. I stretched out and closed my eyes and just let the alfalfa be taller than I was. But she said, what's your favorite thing, sleeping or being awake? Awake, I said. Then wake up and we can play the tell what your favorite thing is game. I think we're already playing it, I said. She said, we are, and it's my turn. My favorite turn is first. So I said, go ahead. She said, tell your favorite color. I said, blue. But she said, see, you've already done it wrong. In this game, you can't just say it's blue. You have to say what kind of blue. So I said, all right. You know the blue on a lizard's belly, the sudden kind of blue you see just for a second sometimes? So blue that afterwards, you always think you made it up? Sure, she said. I know that kind of blue. Then she told me hers, and it was brown. Maybe I looked surprised because she said, not many people appreciate brown, but I don't care. I do, and the one I like best is dark reddish brown that's good for mountains and for rocks. You see it in steep cliffs a lot. I said, I know that kind of brown. Then it was my turn to ask, so I said, what's your favorite thing to touch?
She said, my feet like mud, but my face likes wind, especially if I'm running up a hill. So I have to choose both things. I said, wait, it isn't fair to choose two favorite things. It is when you have to, she said. Any other way to play, it would be silly. I could see that she was right. I said my favorite thing to touch was kitten fur, but then I changed my mind and wanted clear creek water. And then I changed again. And that time I was sure my favorite thing was sand. Clean, dry, powdery sand. But she didn't like it that I changed my mind. But all she said was, it makes the game go better if you've already thought of all your favorite things before you play. I said I would next time. Oh, by the way, this book, I got it from the library at Allen Elementary School. I don't know why they were getting rid of it. I actually got it off the internet, but that's where it had come from before. I think every library should have a lot of Bert Baylor books. Not get rid of them. Then we chose our favorite sounds. She said hers was bees, but not just one or two. She said it takes about a thousand bees buzzing in all the fields around to make the kind of loud bee sounds she likes. For mine, I chose a bird I'd heard one morning in the mountains of New Mexico and never saw and never heard again and couldn't even say why I still remember it. She said it was all right that I didn't know its name. So we went on to what's your favorite place to live? She said her favorite place to live was in a tree. I said, doesn't it have to be some place you've really lived? She said, that's right, it does, and I've lived in a lot of trees. She didn't say how long she'd lived in any tree, and I didn't ask. I said I knew my favorite place to live, but... I wasn't sure it was fair to say because I hadn't really lived there yet, even though I planned to. She said the rule is okay if you're pretty sure you're going to live there someday. So I said, I am. It's in a cave with foxes. That's fair, she said. I think a tree is best for summer, but a cave would be all right for winter nights. We must have named a hundred favorite things that afternoon. I remember her favorite dream is flying. She said it is so easy in that dream, looking down on all those little hills and valleys, flapping her arms when she wants to go higher. She said she dreamed it seven times. Mine is finding turquoise beads when I'm just walking along, not really looking, not trying to find them. I dreamed it once about a year ago. Her favorite thing to see is m moving. Her favorite thing to see moving is fish underwater. Mine is falling stars. These pictures are great. Thanks, Robert Andrew Parker. Her favorite thing to taste is snow and honey mixed. A little more honey than snow. Hmm, yum. Mine is bread, just baked at home. Still warm. Oh, I almost showed you just the words. Her favorite smell is the alfalfa growing in this field. Mine is desert rain. Not rain anywhere else. Her favorite shape is zigzag. Mine is round. Finally, I said, what's your favorite time of day? And she said, now, just about now, when I've been running in the field and getting out of breath and falling down and watching ladybugs and finding someone to play the tell what your favorite thing is game, and playing it, and then maybe walking back as far as the road together. This might be the last page. I wasn't, I was gonna say that sunrise is my favorite time of day. But when I thought about it, I wanted to choose now too. 
I wasn't sure she'd let us both choose the same thing. But she was nice about it. She said, we can. That's my favorite way to end the game. By then it was getting late, so we walked back as far as the road together. The end. I hope you like Guess Who My Favorite Person Is. This is what the back looks like. See? That's the old sticker from the library. Anyway, I better get going. It's time for me to eat lunch and look out the window a little bit. Um, I hope that you get to play a game like this with one of your friends. Even if you're indoors, you can play the game. You can make up your own questions. You can make up your own answers, of course. And um, feel free to let me know some of your favorite things. And feel free to give me feedback to let me know how I'm doing, because this is new to me, sitting inside reading books to a video screen for all my friends. Um, and that's it. I hope to hear from you and see you soon and maybe get to walk in an alfalfa field together. Adios.